George Soros gave us five thousand dollars to be here. All lives I matter. Yo, dog, what's going on? Yeah, we gonna get us some black girls tonight. seeing you with my lawyer who's black by the way okay not if you're thinking it's racist all right hello that's right everybody look and stare okay I'm taking a stand here I care more I care more what about okay, I'm gonna give you a lecture for 15 minutes please excuse me what do you have here a real legitimate slave owner excuse me miss can I talk to you about this for a minute? No, you don't know, because you got a nice new iPhone, okay? You got a white iPhone? I like that shit. Old white lady. That's right, old white lady. You guys are out here for Planned Parenthood? Yeah, right on. All right. All right on, man. Hey, my friend Chuck wants to talk to you. Why do you explain this when it comes to Planned Parenthood? 40 million black babies dead? 1940 uh, something, 1970 something onward. How do you guys explain this at Planned Parenthood? Lamborghinis? <coughs> How do you explain Lamborghinis for baby body parts? All right. Oh. I'm just trying to be honest. I'm just trying to be honest. How can I trade these babies for a Lamborghini? I feel like I've finally been, because uh, my great great grandfather was, was a slaveholder. He's a can you, Josh, can you get closer? Slaveholders. Uh, for all throughout Rhode Island's history. And I'm sort of doing my bit to raise raise that awareness to sort of erase the damage that they've all done. <laughs> Mercedes? Probably some capitalist scumbag who exploited workers to get this vehicle. Yeah, that there we go. Nazi. Fucking thing. Oh. Looky here, a nice white clothing store. What's this, uh, this suit right here, what's this from colonialism? Is this what you'd wear if you're in the North, North Africa? You got, you got your, uh, you got your, uh, slaves in there and you're exploiting your resources? Look, I'm gonna tell you the first, I'm the first one to tell you. White civilization, Western civilization was built on resources stolen from the black man. You feel me? And that's exactly why we're going in here. Okay, hey, I just wanted to let you know, this store is a bit racist because of these antiquated styles here. These slave owner clothes. These are okay. slave owner clothes? They're, exactly, yes, these are from a time when blacks and other races were oppressed by whites. Okay, and I can see oh. you're wearing the garb here. You are as well. I don't know why you're wearing that. You're wearing an Oxford shirt no, right I'll, now. I'll work is... here. <laughs> Excuse me? An Oxford, Oxford shirt? An Oxford shirt, yeah. What, are you trying, are you trying to use your wordplay to get, get one over on me here? No. Classic white man technique. Can you, can you stop recording? <laughs> no, he's not, I mean, he's not gonna stop recording. Like, no, no, I'm this, just... I, listen, all I'm saying is... I don't is know where you got your you information You got a Colonel from. Sanders outfit back you there. Can, you could you say that for any store on the block here. What could you say? That, that they wore clothes? the same style of clothes? Yeah, that's the point. Slave. It's called uh, systematic oppression. Right. Well, so have, yes. have a good day. You, okay. Yeah, you have a good day too. Jeez. And this, this guy doesn't even know anything about his own people. He doesn't know that they're oppressed. It makes me sick. I swear to God, educating people is so hard. Why is educating people so hard? Paper is an oppressive Western invention. Covering the real one. That's the problem. The problem is when people. 
people out here doing stuff like us, you don't cover it. The weight of Western civilization, am I right? Am I right, ladies? Are you recording us? Now, I wanted to add, he's recording, okay? Yeah, he's free to record. We're with Black Lives Matter, okay? No, so I'm we can record you wherever can't record. No, we can record wherever we want. No, we have We have the right to record wherever we want. We're with Black Lives Matter. So we, okay? But we're not allowed to allow people to record. We're required to record. That's the problem, is that these clothes are all made with slave labor by minorities, so they suck, okay? These clothes suck. Yeah, but you look stupid if you wear them. It's not true. No, I look hot. Shut up. May I ask you what races you are? Uh, mixed race. You're mixed race? What about you? I don't really know. So my, my family's Turkish. Uh-huh. But I guess I'm very white passing and I grew up in Mexico. White passing, now that's important because that means you can get away with white privilege, am I right? Right. That's right. New lessons, folks. The lighter skin color you have, the more privileged you are. What do you what's your privilege rating? Out of ten. Because you're not you're not completely dark skinned. Some uh, black privilege cyborg. I think it's terrible that black people have the first access to cybernetics. Flip-flops and socks. That's black privilege. So, sometimes you just gotta shut up and let Whitey do the talking. Okay? Do you want to call the police? Whoa, cool. It's the Harry Potter College. This is the college where Harry Potter went to study magic. Hey, we're here at the Harry Potter College. Hey, wait, come back and talk to us. Please. You look interesting, like you got a good personality. You know what? We came out here. It's pouring rain. This sucks. But my moral superiority right now is fucking choice. Huh. Stop your car. A lot of road noise here. We gotta get so, close. Yeah. Too much road um, noise. Man. I don't know what, what are you guys all what about. What are you doing? Yeah. Advice. We're doing a piece about race. Okay. It's you're very close. provocative. Uh, just a tip though. With the down. iPhone, you guys should always film horizontal. No. If you ever want to do something with it, <laughs> what are you, a cinematographer? Look, we'll thank you for talking to yeah. Okay, sure. but I want to continue having a 15 minute conversation about race. Can we follow well, you around? <laughs> no. No? Can't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So, did you know the last year over Black Killed by Police? Do you support Black Lives Matter? You didn't oppress anybody today? I can't believe how racist he was. He, he's gonna hit me with his baton. Hey, one of the good ones. Did you, okay, let's go over the checklist here. Did you beat any black people today with your baton? Did you mace any blacks today? Kill any black children? Never. Never. Are you sure you're not an evil cop? Your teeth are too white. Your teeth are too white, man. He was gonna. Aw, oh, just as I suspected. Two little white boys. Hey, let me ask you guys something. You kill any minorities today? So many. You guys want to make a difference? Come speak to so us. many? Excuse me. Dox this guy, ruined his career. He just said he killed so many uh, blacks today. I see a white hood. I see a white hood. That's very insensitive. You know, I swear to God, it's like these people just want to be left alone and not be fucking hassled. I don't get it. Sometimes it can be politically convenient to stare at your feet and just ignore the problems of every day, but we're gonna talk about it starting right now. I'm kind of starting to get high on my own supply. This is feels this feels righteous. You know, because at the end of the day, I know I'm a better person than this guy because he's not protesting. I don't care. Shut up. Yesterday was a rehearsal. Shithead. Hey man, I just wanted to say really nice work. We really appreciate what you're doing here, man. Are you a student at Yale? Yeah. Just, uh, Very cool. What's your name, man? Uh, Oxa. Oxa? Oxa. Oxa? Yeah. Awesome, man. Great to see you. Yeah. I'm really, we're all really proud of you. This is fucking awesome. Hey, keep fighting the good fight, brother. All right, all right these people give you any hey, problems, you come see us, we're going to make sure that they can fucking go home. Yeah. All right? Yeah, thank you. These guys are assholes. I don't like the way they're treating you. Look, here's the deal. Do you have any money? No. You don't have any money? No. I don't care. You're freaking a really... 
taking a really hard time on this campus to have a sign that says All Lives Matter. What's wrong with All Lives Matter? You don't believe that? I believe that all lives matter. But you just said you didn't. No, I didn't. I said you picked a really hard time to have on this campus to have a sign that says all lives matter. Why, though? People believe that all lives matter, but some lives need to be advocated for more because they have historically been underrepresented, not advocated for. How are they underrepresented, though? Like, they invent less stuff, or they, like, I'm not engaged. are not as smart or something? What the fuck? A real racist. I didn't think we were going to see a real racist today. I didn't think we were going to see a real live racist today. Match your boots to your umbrella. But I'll tell you what, though, she had some good fuck me eyes. I'll tell you what, though, she sure had some good fuck me eyes. Oh, shit, we should probably not have said that so loud. I'll tell you what, it would have made me happy to calm that little filly down. Am I right? That scarf, that Pico tells me that you don't know the first thing about privilege, but I ain't teach you. Hi. Oh, I like yes. Yes, yes, please. Yeah, I just yeah. I'm just wondering what, what you are up to. Well, we're up to spread a few well, we're white man. Please do not look at this nice Asian lady. Yeah. Privilege. The privilege yeah. makes me sick. Like the white babies that are being No one's talking about any of this. Anyone talk about Asian privilege? I don't fucking think so. Peace. Uh, are you guys playing for me? The problem is that Asians score 100 points higher on the SATs, okay? That's a problem, and it means that you have privilege, all right? Do you understand what that word means? Sorry, I'm just like... I don't know what you are, okay? Asians score 100 points higher on the SATs, all right? Adjusting for income. That's a big problem. All right, have a good day. You obviously can't handle these radical politics. Take a hike, Missy. Get out of here. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, we should go down there. Okay, here we are, right. Italian and Irish, getting together. Am I right? I'm not it. I'm not it. I'm not it. What are you? This is the red hair, then. Uh, my grandma has red hair. What? What? Yeah. Ethnicity, what? The nationality are you? Uh, you know, from the United States. Yeah, but what country are you, your your uh, grandparents from and stuff? Uh, let's see you later. So far, we've had racists and people who don't even know what fucking country their grandparents are from, which I get it. Okay. That kid was gay, he didn't want to be bothered. All right, I don't want to hassle some Twinkie kid, okay? But fucking ask your grandparents what fucking country they're from sometime. Hey, that's a nice BMW. You kill any slaves to get this one, huh? Where else can we go? Um. It is nice being on this campus, even though this is all going to be destroyed in uh, probably about six years. Yeah. Can you believe what we're looking at here, this architecture? That's right. Can we talk to you about white privilege? We got to talk to you. We want to talk to you about white privilege. Oh, um, I have to go to get coffee with a friend. You sound very white presenting now. Do you think that, you're, that not having an accent gives you white privilege? I am going to go get coffee with a friend of mine, yeah. but I hope you have a wonderful day. Okay. It's pretty sparse and it's uh, in the activity today, a little bit less than I expected. I was expecting... I was expecting militant protesters. Yeah. Well, we had a nice road trip. We had some cigars. Yeah, it was really nice, except mine was cratering. Right. It was only smoking in, in the center. It's terrible. Sorry, can we talk to you about white privilege real quick? Uh, no thanks. Can we talk to you about mob camp privilege? You're very Yale, you're very snappy dresser. Yeah, you're number one dressed at Yale. Very good. You can tell he's gonna be smart someday. Well, we had a good day. No, today was really fun. And uh, we're gonna go home and dye our hair. I'm gonna grow my hair back out again. <laughs> I think that's it.